guys today I'm gonna show you a patch file editor which I wrote years back in BBnet don't worry if you don't know about patch file or if you haven't ever opened the command prompt because this will also serve as a beginner's guide to command prompt and batch file editing so first we need to do is open the command prompt so write cmd hit enter so this is command prompt this is basically used to give several instructions to the windows so that it can perform a particular task. We do this by typing commands into the prompt. So the first command that I'm going to show you is echo. Echo just prints a message onto the console. So let's print hello world, the classic hello world program. Okay. Yeah, you see, hello world got printed. Now, do you see this text here? This tells you where we are currently into the file system. To list out all the directories and files present in this folder, we will use the dir command. Okay, so these are the files which are and the folders which are present in our current directory. Now, let's go to the downloads folder to do that we will use the cd command which you which which stands for change directory so I'll cd down downloads okay now I'll use dir again so these are the files that I have downloaded now you see the screen got all cluttered up so to clear things up we will use the cls command which stands for clear screen okay now there are several commands available in the windows command prompt to list a few you should type help and enter so these are the commands sock trip brick call cd and here is a short description about the command display the name of or change the current directory so you can read this next I'm going to show you one more command so first we need to switch the directory there's a demo folder in my downloads directory so cd demo okay now cls now let's see what's in demo so there's just one directory demo now there's a command called mkdir which stands for make directory this you can use to make another directory so we'll see new okay now I'll dir again and you see a new directory has been created now uh, these commands are written in a text file uh, through notepad application and then saved with a dot bat extension which later can be executed to perform these commands so this is used to to perform repetitive task in windows now we will head to to the darkstars website where we will download the batch tool it's like an id kind of thing so go to the Go to the URL bar and then type darkstars.coffeecup.com. Darkstars.coffeecup.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Hit enter. Then click on download. Okay, so our file got downloaded. Open the file. Extract. I already have this downloaded, so it's asking. Okay. Now, actually, let me delete this and then re extract it. There's a reason for that. Just want to give you a fresh look. So, 
now. So this is the main file barracks.exe and window will warn you because it's as I told you a very old program so there's nothing there's nothing wrong in it so just run anyway it's not malicious okay now let's minimize all this so there are four menus in this file menu command menu the command menu lists several commands and the cool thing about it is you can see short description of the command in the left uh, bottom left corner of this application see that Dell deletes one or more file FC compares to files or set of files that's about it now next we have scripts so here we have several scripts which comes bundled with the software which you can use to have fun or kind of thing. So let's first see the hello world script. We have already did this. So here is the hello world script. Now to play a script, you simply click on this, execute. Here we go. This is the hello world script. But do you notice something here? Earlier to print hello world, we just wrote echo hello world now we have two extra lines this at echo off and this pause so what do they do let's try to figure it out by removing them so first i will remove echo off and then i will play this so you see earlier we just had message hello world now we are seeing all these path variables and all the things so to get rid of them we have to write at go off it's like a command so now see we don't go get those variables now what is this for pause let's try to remove it and run okay what just happened I ran it but it didn't it didn't gave me any output well actually when a batch file runs it executes several tasks and after its execution it closes so it actually displayed the hello world message and then it it closed but to stop that from happening we have to write pause so P -A -U -S, pause and now it's not going anywhere all right now I'm going to show you some bundled scripts, but first let's make a new tab, so press here, new file 2, so I'll click on script, and this is matrix, so I'll play this, so this is just, it's just eye candy, I mean, for the DOS era, okay. Now I'll show you another script. It is quite annoying. So this script, this program will just annoy you. You can restart your PC to stop it. So it will display a message. And if you click OK to the message, it will display another message and it will loop. Oh, I think they have removed the message command from the from the command prompt sorry about that so this won't work anymore all right now to see more about a command you can use this help menu so let me see you i want to see about echo look up let's just place the message so now what we're going to do is we're going to tackle some real problem. I'm going to make a simple yet powerful script which will do the following task. 
So let's first go to my downloads folder. You see I have all kinds of file here. Now what I want to do is I want to put all the video file in a folder, in one folder so that it's easier for me to navigate. First I'm going to do is make a folder called vids. Okay. Now we'll go to the patch file editor. Make a new tab. And now what I want to do is I want to move all the files, all the video files to to the uh, to the vids folder. How can we do? So let's shake and help. File, disk, mix. Let's see, file. Okay, move. Moves one or more file from the directory to another. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use. Now I don't know how, what parameters move you accept, so I will look up for it. Move, look up. Okay, you see, move. Ignore these, these are switches. Don't need them in this tutorial. So move then drive path, file name, and then destination path. Okay. So I want to move, but here let's first try to move a text file. You will know why I why am I doing that. So let's move a dot text. Okay, and I will move this a dot text to bits. All right, and I will save this file. And I will save this in the downloads folder. So I'll name it move with the extension will be packed. Okay, I saved it. I'll see it. First of all, I'm gonna. I also need to create a a dot text file because we are going to move that file. So blank text file doesn't matter now I will click on this execute it and see we have it in the width folder now why I did that is I didn't want it to confuse you because to move all the video files here we have to write something else we can't write name of a single file and how we are going to achieve it? We are going to achieve it using the special symbol star. So we'll say star dot mp4. So the star stands for anything. So any file name dot mp4 and move it to the bits folder. Now we're also going to give a little feedback. Okay, so I'm going to give a little feedback and for that we'll use the speak. So after moving the files, this will speak a message. So let the message be file moved. Files moved. Okay. So let's save that. You got saved. Before that, let me show you a few more commands. So this is color. This sets the color of your console. So let's choose a background color. So let's say background will be blue and foreground will be e e e black. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna print a message. Echo hi. Okay. And I forgot to pause. There are a few things you can try. Now, let's go back to this file. Saved it. Oh, I didn't save it. Movie.pat. Movie.pat already exists. Now, we're going to click on this. First, let me remove this file. Files moved. So all the files have been moved. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.
and go download it and just play with it. Also, I have made it open source, so if you wanna play with its code, tinker it, then I'll put the description below. Thank you.